So guys, you are watching Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. I hope you are doing well. Today is Saturday and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the latest update concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players, which includes Mohamed Kudus, the star boy of the Black Stars and also West Ham. And also Andre Dede Ayu, the captain of the Black Stars amongst many others. So guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed to, thank you very much and may God richly bless you. Also, shout outs. If your name is on the shout out list, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Please continue to support the channel, continue to like our videos, comment under our videos, and I really, really appreciate your support. But then, if your name is not here, don't worry, don't be offended. Comment under this video and I'll make sure to bring up your name in the next shout out to this we do live here on Sports Corner G. So, guys, quickly, let's jump into it. And I would like to begin with Andre Dede Ayu, 34 years of age, currently plays for Le Havre in the French Liga. Most Ghanaians believe that it is high time for Andre Ayu to exit the Black Stars because he's growing old. This is not the young Andre Ayu we used to know. Only for Andre Ayu to defy all the odds these seasons for Le Havre in the French Liga. Now, I'm going to tell you some statistics of Andre Ayu for Le Havre this season. This season so far, he has scored six goals for Le Havre across all competition. But then when it comes to the French Liga, Andre Ayu has scored five goals for Le Havre. Now, if you come to Le Havre as a team, Andre Ayu is a joint highest goal scorer for Le Havre, five goals. And he's also the highest goal scoring Ghanaian player in the French Liga. This is mind boggling for a player who is just 34 years. 34 years. He is performing very well and playing. You know, that role as a forward, that number nine role, Andre Ayu is doing so well at it. Now, the good news is that Andre Ayu's goal against Laurent. Way back in February, that overhead kick has been nominated for League One goal of the season. Do you know what that means? If Andre Ayu wins this, I mean, that would be huge because that goal had goal of the month. Let have goal of the month. Goal of the month for February. That was just after Ghana got kicked out of the Afghan. Andre Ayu returns back to Le Havre. They were playing against Nore. He scored two goals in that game. One was that overhead kick that everyone is talking about. Andre Ayu performed so, so well this season for Le Havre and that goal has been nominated. I just hope that he win that particular one because that game ended in a 3-3 draw. And Andre Ayu, honestly, he's doing so, so, so well. But well, guys, let me know what you think about it. 34-year-old Andre Ayu doing wonders in the you know, French Liga with Le Havre. We hope that they survive relegation and then we see more of Andre Ayu in the French Liga. But then guys, this is the latest update concerning Andre Dede Ayu, the captain of the Black Star. So guys, moving away from Andre Ayu, let's talk about Mohamed Kudus. Today, he featured for West Ham against Luton Town in the English Premier League. We are going to talk about that shortly. But then I want to tell you about the good news. Yes, Mohamed Kudus wins West Ham goal of the season. That solo goal he scored against Freiburg in the Europa League has won West Ham's goal of the season. And honestly, that goal is mind busting. For Mohamed Kudus to dribble from the middle of the pitch and score that goal, I mean, that's, that's the highlights of the Europa League for me. I mean, there's no goal that comes close to that. Mohamed Kudus scored a very brilliant goal and I'm happy he's been honored and appreciated for that particular goal. That solo goal, he scored a very brilliant and nice goal from Mohamed Kudus during the Europa League second leg against um, Freiburg. It was brilliant. It was just that, that was that day we all saw the brilliance of Mohamed Kudus. It was just fantastic all around. But guys, that is the good news. Mohamed Kudus winning West Ham's goal of the season. Now let's move away from that and talk about the game Mohamed Kudus played today for West Ham against Luton Town. Now we already know West Ham did. For the last five games, they have not really been doing well. I mean, it's as if the players don't want to play football. <laughs> sometimes they perform well, sometimes they don't perform well. And every time they perform badly, Mohamed Kudus is always that standout player in the team. And today, once again, they played against a relegation bound Luton Town. And I'm just like expecting the best because before the game, I was like, I mean, this is Luton Town. Mohamed Kudus definitely is going to get a goal. I mean, Jared Bowen is going to get a goal. I was hoping that West Ham hammered them properly. That, that was what I was hoping for. Because let's not forget, I mean, David Moyes will be leaving very soon. There will be a new coach. It's been a lot that Junior Lupiteki and all that. I mean, I'm talking not too much about this. Let's jump into it and talk about the performance of Mohamed Kudus. So, Mohamed Kudus started for West Ham against Luton Town in the English Premier League. And in that game, Mohamed Kudus was playing as a number 10. And there were instances in that game where Mohamed Kudus had clear-cut chances 
And everyone believed that Mohamed Kudu should be scoring a goal or giving an assist in the end, but he was able to hit the woodwork and everyone was surprised about it. You can see some of the images on your screen. And people are complaining that it's quite of late. Mohamed Kudu's shooting range is on a poor level, but then undoubtedly he's performing well when it comes to his dribbles, his 1v1 situation, he's doing well. And today he was rated 7.9 by Sofa Score, performing very well in my own opinion. I feel like any time West Ham performs or play football, whether they win, whether they lost, Mohamed Kudu stands out to be the star man of the team. And Let's not forget, he has also won the goal of the season for West Ham. But guys, let's jump into it and talk about Mohamed Kudu's performance in numbers according to Sofa score. In that game, he played the full 90 minutes. He had a total touch of 59. Accurate passes completed was 37 out of 42, accumulating to 88%. He gave three key passes. He gave one assist. Long balls was four out of four. One big chance created. Shot off target was three. He hit the woodwork one, which I already said, and also big chances missed, as I already said, one. And Graden was one was seven out of ten. And I mean, overall, if you take a look at his performance, isn't it's not that bad, but I just believe that when it comes to, you know, being clinical, Mohamed Kudus could work better on it because in their last five games, Mohamed Kudus could dribble and then be doing Duku, Duku vibes. Yeah, Mohamed is doing Duku vibes. So I just believe that Mohamed Kudu should work on his shooting range and also being clinical. But aside that, he performed very well today. If you take a look at his expected assist, it is 0.42, which is quite important. He gave an assist today to George Etty, George Etty for West Ham's third goal. So guys, this is overall my own reaction and also how I saw Mohamed Kudu's performance today for West Ham. It wasn't that bad, but then West Ham considered a goal first in the first half. I believe that West Ham need to start working on how they build up their game is quite slow of late. The first half, they were losing 1-0 and then the second half, they did things right. But then hopefully, when the new coach comes in, Lupiteki, I believe Mohamed Kudus would do more. But guys, this is just my own opinion on the matter. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Lastly, let's talk about Antoine Selom Semeno, who plays for Bournemouth as they face off with Brentford in the English Premier League. They lost by two goals to one. So those who invested money into the fact that Bournemouth are going to win because they were playing at home. I'm sorry. It just didn't work out today. A very poor performing Brentford were able to score 2-1 against Bournemouth. But then let's take a look at Antoine Selom Semenyo's performance for Bournemouth in that game. Now, according to Sofa score, Semenyo was rated 6.5. He played the full 90 minutes. He had a total touch of 58. Accurate passes completed was 22 out of 33, accumulating to 67%, which is quite poor in my own opinion. One key pass, shot on target one. If you take a look at the shot of target is two. Dribble attempted successful two out of four. Ground was one was two out of twelve. I mean, it's just a poor performance from Semenyo today. And you can't tell me any otherwise. I mean, it's just so so poor. But then one more lost to the two and in Semenyo's performance in numbers, according to Sofa score, says a lot about it. And I'm sure most of you know bet investors are not going to be happy about it. But then we all know that Semenyo is in contention for Bournemouth's player of the year or Bournemouth player of the season. We just hope he wins that. So guys, go to Bournemouth socials and make sure you vote for Antoine Selon Semenyo. He didn't score a goal today. He didn't give an assist today. Generally, the whole team performed badly, but then I believe that, I mean, left with about two or I think one or two games to play, I believe he can still do well. So, Guys, this is just my own analysis on the two players who played in the English Premier League today. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comments. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we will vibe.